In Jeremiah 22.3, God commands us to work for justice and not to take advantage of the homeless, orphans, and widows. The United Methodist Advocacy in Pennsylvania strives to fulfill that call to ministry. Stephen, as executive director of the advocacy, how would you say that United Methodists are working toward that goal? Our, our ministry is focused uh, mostly on public policy issues related to the poor. We believe that God is calling us to be a, a voice with and for those who have no voice, people living on the streets, people who are poor, people who are sick, people who are in prison, uh, people who, who need someone speaking out for them in the face of power in the halls of Harrisburg. And uh, that's what we do. We get people from across Pennsylvania to speak out. Um, we work with legislators, uh, you know, United Methodists and others across the state, just to create a voice, a faith voice, for justice and for peace and for helping those who are most in need. What are some specific ways that you've been working to um, get the legislator to see the effect um, that their work has on the poor? Sure. In this last budget season, working with a number of coalitions, we were able to get $84 million restored to the budget for services and funds to help the mentally ill, uh, to serve the homeless, um, to serve those who had handicapping conditions, um, and uh, you know, which was a, a big made a big difference in a budget where they, they, they wanted to cut hundreds of millions of dollars. We were able to stop that from going all the way. And uh, while it wasn't as much as, as we thought it should have been restored, but through the efforts of faith groups all across Pennsylvania and the United Methodists who contacted their legislators, contacted the governor, we were able to have an impact. And we're going to continue to hold those who are in power, to hold them responsible for meeting the needs of those who are the least among us. Every year, the United Methodist Advocacy has an event called the Anti-Poverty Summit. Can you explain a little bit about what goes on there? Well, thank you, Brittany, very, very much. Uh, the Anti-Poverty Summit is something that we were very excited about. It is a chance for, for United Methodists from across Pennsylvania to come together at Camp Hill United Methodist Church outside Harrisburg. This year's summit is October 7th and 8th. And uh, what we do is uh, we use that as an opportunity to teach people that God is calling us to speak out on behalf of the poor, the sick, and those who are on the margins of society. Um, you know, and that, that our call to, to serve the poor and to speak out in the halls of the legislature um, comes from Scripture. It's not something we do because we, we want to be, be politicians or we want to get involved in secular po politics. It's actually the opposite of that because, you know, God is calling us to hold those who are in power accountable and to make sure that they keep the voice of the poor first in their minds when they make, make the, their, their decisions. Um, this year's Poverty Summit on October 7th and 8th has a great lineup. Um, I'm sure most of our our viewers and listeners have heard of the Reverend Mike Slaughter from Ginginsburg, Ginginsburg Church in Ohio. Well, he is going to come in on Monday, October 8th, and lead us in a town meeting talking about advoc advocacy for the poor and how it's not political but scriptural in what we do, that, that it's a direct result of, of scripture, how God expects us to speak up on behalf of the poor and to create that voice from him. Mike's a really fascinating guy, a strong, speak, a, a strong speaker who is able to combine the fact that we are taught not only to, to, to make disciples for God, but also to be social justice advocates for God as well. You know, they, they go hand in hand, and that's very important for us to, to know and understand that. We also have the Reverend Lorenza Andre Smith from San Antonio, Texas coming in. Lorenza is the most fascinating person, and I've had a chance to meet her a couple of times and to, to talk with her. And uh, she has uh, given up her, her appointed minister, her appointment to a church last year, and got appointed to the streets. And not only that, she's on the streets as a homeless person. She gets no pay. 
and she lives on the street. She has a backpack, a sleeping pad, and her communion cup and plate. And so she lives on the streets. She's lived on the streets of New York City, on the streets in San Antonio, Texas. She's lived in barns across the rural areas of Pennsylvania. And she's out there doing ministry to the homeless and also learning what it's like to be homeless and learning what we need to do to serve those who are the lowest in our midst, those who are the most need and most in need uh, in our midst. And those here in our conference. We have a homeless problem right here in the Susquehanna Conference, whether you're in, in the Harrisburg area or in New York or even up in Wellsboro and Scranton. You know, we have, we have homeless all among us. And it's, a, it's a tragedy and that we need to do something to, to work yeah, with it's them. It's important that she is actually doing that and living like that so that she fully understands and can help and, them. And, and once, you, once you get a chance to talk with her and to meet her and to see the, the depth of her commitment to the poor it, it changes your own life. And our third major presenter is the Reverend Faith Fowler from Cass Community Ministries in Detroit. Um, Cass Community Ministries is a is a fascinating place as well. Uh, they've been on a uh, they've taken over a block in the city of Detroit, which is probably our most distressed distressed city in the United States. And 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 they serve about 5,000 meals a day there wow. and provide a place to sleep for hundreds of people every night. And they create jobs for scores of people who are living on the streets who are struggling to survive in a factory that they have that converts used tires into commercial products. And so they're creating jobs. They're helping to to deal with improving the environment. And they're serving Christ by nurturing the souls of thousands of people every day. It's going to be a great summit. People who want to register should go online at www.umadvocacypa.org. And you can sign up online. It's $75. And uh, we're hoping to have a big crowd because these folks are, are among our top leaders in our church. And they're going to bring us a perspective of how we can serve Christ how we can speak out for those who are in need and do it in ways that reflect our Wesleyan heritage, but also, just as importantly, God's call for us to serve the poor and to speak out for the poor in the halls of our legislature here in Harrisburg. Thank you so much for sharing. If you would like to learn how you can register for the Anti-Poverty Summit, you can check out my blog or my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express dot blogspot.com right.